in this class, obviously. <laughs> and honestly, despite the smell of haldi and garlic and old socks that all PIA planes have, I to say, Baba, home sweet home. Can't wait to get back here. I've spent a whole month in London shopping, boy, meeting all my desi, nice, rich, rich friends who come from Gulbarg. Um, they say, who wants to meet Bor Goras with their long Garcias about credit crunch and Brexit? Except Janu, of course. Anyways, London shops, Harrods, Selfridges, yay, wo, London ka weather, so zabardast with its thin, thin green and its cool, cool breeze and overcasted skies and wo Royal China and Zuma and Cipriani and sexy fish, um, you know, all of that. And De Daniel Galvin, Jessa to hairdresser who does Madonna and Gwyneth and me, is just <laughs> fine. And Nell Gwyn House in Chelsea with its Filipina made three times a week. And you pass na, ye to cheese hoti in life me. But you know, despite my sophisticated experience and appearance and my glam looks, I want you to know that I'm just a CD, Sadi, patriotic, homely type. My heart though is in Lahore, where I never had to make a bed or boil a kettle to make tea or pull my own curtains or top up my own phone or fetch a glass of water or put milk in kulchu cereal. <laughs> Can't wait to land and be greeted by the army who comes to meet us at the airport and collect our luggage and do all that bore paperwork while we just sail home in our own car and walk into our lovely shiny koti with the ACs already humming and be met by my shweetshi maid who does all the unpacking and I don't have to thank ten ten times like those surreal Filipinas in London who have so many hairs and braces with koba honestly. And I get to eat simple ghar ka khana, dal, chawal, matar, paneer, keema, shaddeek, my favorites, you know. And I'm going to sleep under my pashmina, so please excuse na, so see you in Lahore. Oh, Toba, that stupid army who's supposed to whisk us out of passport control and immigration vagaira isn't here. And we're having to queue just like the cattle class types. So humiliating. I just told Janu to fire him next time he sees him. And Janu said he's not our knocker. He works for government. Well, tomorrow I'm going to call government myself and I'm going to tell them to fire him. And after that, I'm going to fire Janu. And now we're going to have to wait in the luggage hall with the porter, you know, who's scratching his, you know, what, to collect our luggage. I'm not looking his way, but he's going on scratching. And while our friends from business cars sailed out ages ago, leaving their armies to do all of this. Honestly, talk about basti. And all these packies, you know, they push and shove so much with their bloody trolleys, ramming it into their your ankles. Unlike the Goras who quietly get into queue and wait. So I have now got home. And guess what? Maid is ill. <laughs> Sent message that she's got malaria, chutti, jealousy. Wait till she comes back. I'll fire her on the dot. And generator is not working. And my phone is not topped up. And bathrooms are flooded in the rain. And is smelling of drains. And don't know, God.